G'day. Today we're going to be drawing a tattoo design of a snake's head. So I've done a few tattoo designs in my time. In fact, if you look in the description of this video, you'll see a link to a couple of the other tattoo videos I've got or designs for tattoos. The thing with tattoos is that sometimes it depends upon the artist. Whereas sometimes you get a tattooist which is an absolute genius, you can just hand them a photograph and they can just reproduce that. What I want to do today is to create artwork which is really easy to follow so even the most basic tattooist could do this work. Okay, we're drawing a rounded shape because bodies aren't square, so we're going to try and think outside of a square shape and when you design a t-shirt or a sticker or a tattoo you try to think not so much of a squarish or a rectangle shape but more sort of rounded shapes. Here is the top of the mouth, a bit of the snout, the evil eye is going to be here because it's a fantasy monster and kind of a real cartoony evil eye. with of course uh, like the slit for an eye like it's a creature of the night okay so shaping that top mouth top part of the mouth so I'm shaping the top part of the mouth now I'm working on the bottom part of the mouth the other side the mouth has to be gaping open so you can see all the fangs and all the nasty business in there. Let's try and work out the shape. I'm basing this on an old school tattoo. So here we have a top lip going to divide this top lip up in a bit because even though it's a old school fantasy snake I'm trying to put a little bit of realism in there so you see that little dip up there that's where the tongue would come out on a real snake a little bit pointy forward there a bit like a cotton mouth break that up and that could be a nose hole if it's a cobra or it could be a pit if it's a rattlesnake or a viper of some sort so now let's divide up this top lip into little segments it's always cool how snakes have segments like that and same with the bottom lip and divide that up in little segments as well. And work out the fleshy bits where the fangs hang out. One fang there. Now the fang on the other side wants to be just a fraction smaller for a bit of perspective. Trust me it makes it look cooler. Now between these two fangs is a little organ called the Jacobson's organ. That's what the tongue touches to analyze the taste when it tastes the air. I just can't help but put some of the real natural history into this thing. So what you're getting here is old school tattoo design with a little bit of natural history thrown in. Like this for example, that's the windpipe. And going to be a row of teeth there, but I might mark them in a bit more later. Just working out where those rows of teeth are going to be. But under the windpipe, that little hole there, there's another little slit. That's where the tongue comes out. And on these old school tattoos, the tongue is ridiculously long. So, under the chin here, we can start moving in and putting in some of the belly scales. Flat scales, 
for an animal which senses stuff when it slides along the ground or am I just giving out too much natural history information now we're going to have a pattern behind the eye coming down like that a lot of snakes have that from rattlesnakes to anacondas and we're going to put a bit of a pattern on the back of the snake just to find a few more lines here sneaking a few little scales in there <clears throat> So, above here I'm putting down some flattened out brackets to indicate scales. In this segment here, we're going to put in a little brick wall pattern. We're going to change those bricks into scales. So each one of those bricks becomes a little scale. going to do the same down here. If I go too fast at any time just pause the video and catch up. On the left hand side obviously you can see I've put up a picture of the finished line work for you to copy. But it's good to sort of draw along so you can see how I do things. Now between these I'm just going to pop in some cross hatching. Just diagonal lines one way, then diagonal lines the other way. But this is where you can make it cool if you want. You could pop in flowers or love hearts or, or skulls. You could put any sort of pattern you want in there, really. All of these old school snakes were just sort of full of interesting patterns. Now I'm using a liner, a 0.5 to be precise. But if you are doing this smaller, you might use a smaller marker. It depends on what part of the body this is going on. So what I'm doing now is pretty much just doing an outline of all those pencil lines I've just done. I'm going to speed up a fair bit of this, but I'll just slow it down for bits that might alter. I might make a few little changes along the way. So then I'll slow down and show you those bits. But most of it is just copying what was there. So we can speed up this video a bit. Okay, so the scales on the top lip. Instead of drawing a line top and bottom, I'm drawing each one individually because it makes it a little bit disjointed and it makes it more scale like. You don't want it too smooth, you want them even a little bit rounded. You want them to make them a bit more like a realistic scale. And also when I'm doing these scales here, as the scales go away from the eye, I make them a little bit pointier. See I'm going over a little bit further. Okay, so the scales in the bottom lip, you notice when I go up to the top, I point in to the mouth. Make sure they're all sort of pointing into where the windpipe is. So as I go to the front here, again, the top parts of them sort of curve in. It's a bit under the tongue there, which is a bit unfortunate. Go to the other side. And the makes the scales more rounded rather than just flat. It's one of the tricks of drawing really. So as so I'm speeding this up, maybe I'll take this moment to sort of say if you like these kind of videos, you want to learn about drawing, you want a bit of art advice and you want to learn a little bit about wildlife at the same time, Hey, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss a video. So it's kind of fun drawing in this 
kind of classic tattoo style. It's kind of like if I was to draw a creature from Black Lagoon or Frankenstein's creature. It's kind of like a really old, a funny old fashioned monster from way back in the 30s or 40s or even 50s. But I do remember going into tattoo parlors and seeing this sort of thing up on the wall. I did a little bit of work in a tattoo parlor once, way back in the early 90s. And it was a bit of a different world back then. Shortly after I quit, because things looked like they were getting too violent, I uh, noticed that there was a tattoo boom probably about 10-15 years later and now it's kind of like normal everyday people have tattoos now so this sort of harkens back to oh when sailors and military men and bikers and prison people and oil rig riggers would have tattoos something like this so you erase away all those pencil lines and what you've got here is the line art. What I suggest you do now is to scan it, take a photocopy of it, uh, make a black and white copy of this and we're going to hand the black and white copy to the tattooist but we're also right now going to add some tones to that design. So after erasing the lines I'm going to go in with in this case a 3B pencil. You could use like a black pencil from you know a, a colored pencil kit or something like that. Might even work better. I'm just using this and pressing hard. And when I'm shading this quite a lot of it I'm just going to sort of do a fairly rough shading. I kind of sort of think that a tattooist might shade a bit better than this but if I can do it a little bit rough and kind of flick the pencil a little bit like this little flicks it's kind of like what tattoos look like a bit and of course when this goes on to human skin it'll look different again But this should give the tattooist a pretty good idea of what I want. So I'm just going to speed up this a bit. Of course the other possibility is that you might want to do this in colour. And quite a lot of tattoos back in the day did have those, those greens and reds up against the, uh, the black. And that would probably work too. You put some green patches in the snake or some green shading. Put some red in the mouth on the fangs like it's bitten somebody. Because green and red are complementary colours. And the black will tie it all together. So that could work as well. But for this demonstration I'm just going to go straight black and white. See, I'm putting a bit of shade on every little scale. Shading in bits. Especially shade in a lot under the chin here to make the mouth stand out from the rest of the body. So you have to let me know in the comments section whether this is a great idea or not. Will this be my last tattoo snake design? Or would you like to see more? Is it the first of many? I only know if you leave a comment and let me know. I am looking forward to getting back to drawing some more realistic snakes after this though. But I could chop and change. So remember, leave a comment, thumbs up, thumbs down, let me know what you think. 
Okay, so there we go, that's the finished design. So you're gonna hand two pictures to the tattooist. You're gonna hand them a black and white line drawing, and you're going to give them the tonal range one that's gonna help the tattooist, but it might be the case that whoever's receiving that tattoo might uh, have all that line work, break out in a sweat, and think, okay, I've had enough of this, you know, I'll come back next week and then get the tone a week or two after that when they've healed up. Um, it's a good practice, like I say, sometimes more is better. It's a good practice to give an artist that you don't know how they're gonna reproduce your art, make it as easy as possible for them to do that. So that's why I often say, you know, give them two pictures, you know, a black and white version, a tonal version, even a color version. You could even give them three if you're gonna add color to it. So I hope this video is being useful. Check out some of my other videos. Catch you in the next one.